Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me on this one. I am going to go through step by step of what to do when you see a poopy nappy. I do loads of videos on reusable nappies specifically. I am a mum who also does like home makeovers because we moved into a new house about three months ago. I have a son who's two years old. I do lots of stuff on like clean with me's and anywhere in between, right? Because I'm a mum, I need to be able to multitask and that is exactly what I cover on my channel. If you're interested, please do join the journey with us um, and click that subscribe button. Also, if you like this video, please do give me a thumbs up as I do this in my spare time, so it means a lot to me. Thank you so, so much for joining and let's get to it. You must excuse me because it's absolutely boiling, especially in this room. I'm having to close the windows because there's some noise outside and I don't want you guys to hear it. So I'm literally roasting in this room. So if I begin to sweat, you know why. But let's get to it. I've got my phone with me. I've tried to make as many notes as I can so that I don't miss anything out. I want to make sure that this video is as useful as, as, and, and helpful to you guys as possible. So I'm going to do that um, right now, hopefully. So the first thing that happens in a nappy is basically the baby poos. So the idea is that we're going to go through step by step what you do, especially with a cloth nappy, when your baby poos. So first things first, and that's actually do nothing in terms of the baby who's just pooed. What you do is you need to prepare to make sure I've got everything, I've basically written it down. Um, firstly, you get a muslin. I have, I think I bought about a dozen muslins that were cotton, um, came in a bundle, were really cheap, and I've been using them for two years non-stop. They're stained, they're disgusting, but obviously washed like a thousand times, but they're still really good for us. If you use wipes, obviously that makes sense. If you use like um, a reusable cloth brand wipe, so like basically it's like little wipes, um, they could be really soft, they could be fleecy. You can, you can just use a uh, material um, of any kind, like cloth, that is soft on the baby's bottom. Um, so essentially what I do is wet the muslin, and once I've wet it, I use, or will use that muslin, which will be the next stage, um, to wipe their bottoms. Before that though, also grab some pseudo cream if you need to. So sometimes your baby's bottom can be, can have a rash, especially like, I'll give you an example. A few weeks ago, we went to my sister's at Oxford and we were having a very sunny time at the park. So for some reason or another, my baby boy absolutely loves pooing at the playground. I don't know why, maybe it's the movement, maybe it's the position that he's at when he's climbing and everything. But he pooped and I didn't realise because it was a hot, hot sunny day, it didn't smell, I couldn't smell it uh, until we finished and we were coming back. And obviously because it's been hot, it's been sweaty in his nappy, he's had it for a long time, he got a rash. So basically what I'm saying is just grab some cream to make sure that um, you can use that and you don't have to get up for it later on because then your baby will run away. <laughs> so to make sure that they don't get the chance to do that, you have everything at hand. A quick tip before we move on, and that's if you are away, uh, so like you're out and about, make sure that you have a bottle of water and a muslin. So instead of going to wet it at the tap or a sink, you use that bottle of water. Um, so that's exactly what I did. I usually just pour some water onto the muslin and then use that muslin that way. The other thing to think about is obviously a change of clothes. Do you need to change your baby because the pee has seeped through? Is it okay? Is it not? If not, then make sure that you've got a change of clothes at hand as well so that your baby doesn't run away either. So that is number one and the preparation side of things. Step two is mission impossible. And what I mean by that is that you have to catch the child in order to change them. When they start moving, crawling, uh, running around, um, or if you're a very energetic 
a baby like my son I am having to go and catch him in order to um, change his bot bot <laughs> so basically that is your mission some of the mum tips that I will give to you in order to make this as easy as possible for you. I learned how to change my baby, uh, or my toddler rather, when he's standing up and on the move. When he's enjoying his standing up, running around, I've just learned how to make sure that I'm able to put the nappy on him whilst he's moving around and running and climbing. Uh, climbing is a big thing for us. <laughs> so yeah, it's definitely a skill like that I've learned so I definitely do recommend that you also try it out because it is easier than I guess trying to keep them still but I've got more mum hacks for you because I can give you some suggestions around how you can keep them laying down so obviously the easiest way to change a baby's nappy is when they're laying down and they're not moving so have a think about bribes basically some snacks healthy snacks maybe not so healthy snacks like what does your baby like and what would they just be concentrating on so that you can have that time to change the diaper and then the other thing is like perhaps tv i don't know if you're you you want to do that i have done that in the past just make sure that there's something that they or he can watch whilst i'm changing his nappy um and lastly is basically an activity so i like to sing nursery rhymes um at him and get him involved to basically distract him and make sure that he's staying there uh, for a few minutes whilst i change his nappy step three is take the nappy off so once you've caught the child you unpop it or unvelcro it unstrap it whatever you're doing with or what, whatever type of nappy it is you basically take it off the baby and i put it to the side something about putting it to the side to give you a tip basically is the fact that if you have any pets just make sure that they don't come close to it I learned very early on that dogs especially very much like the smell and taste of poopies. <laughs> so yes, my dog has eaten more than once my baby's poo. So it's something to watch out for. I also tell Casper off for it, but that's a completely other story. Basically, when you take the nappy off, it's time to clean the bot bot. So make sure that you clean your baby's bottom as thoroughly as possible. Use the wet muslin i like the muslin because i only wet only one side of it to make sure that i use the wet side for the fresh poo and try and like get rid of as much soilage if that's even a word uh, as possible whilst i use the dry side to dry his bottom to make sure there's no more irritation in the future or if i use pseudo cream to make sure that it's not wet and it's good enough for pseudo cream in terms of a tip if you are using wet wipes just make sure that the wet wipes are pre-made so whether it's washed and like wet enough for you to use or you can use wet wipes uh, that you've pre-made so some people i know have used like essential oils in there um just to make it smell a little bit better um but i'm just going to be honest with you i've never tried that method so i don't know what it's like on baby's bottom skin either so be very careful if your child is prone to allergies or ver has very sensitive skin so the next step is to put a clean and fresh nappy onto your baby's bottom and clothe the child so that they are all ready to go and they can continue having their activity whether they're having fun laying around um whether they're reading a book watching tv eating something so they are occupied Pride so that you can take that next step to sort out the nappy obviously if you're not happy to leave your child on your own um, or you don't have somebody to look after them and you're not comfortable with that just make sure that you take the baby with you and then take this next step so this next step is around sorting the nappy out and the first thing that you do is pop as much of the poo into the toilet as possible so I have given plenty of ideas and suggestions in the past so hopefully you guys would have seen but essentially like scrape it so make sure that you use as much tissue paper as you need to in order to scrape it out secondly I have done in the past uh, mostly when 
the poo was really like liquidy so when they're younger their poo is a lot more liquidy because they're breastfed or formula fed basically basically it's less solids so I would use gloves gloves are like your savior um, make sure that you use gloves um, so that you're not disgusted by it as well I know it's not a nice um, uh, thing to go through so I would prefer to use gloves, protect my hands as well from the water and the moisture, as well as my nails. <laughs> um, and yeah, basically that's what I would recommend. If that doesn't work, I have in the past had suggestions from others where you like flush the toilet and then sort of like shake the, the liner and the nappy as well in the flushing water so that it helps actually get rid of as much of the poo as possible off the nappy. Something to keep in mind is that you cannot and should not throw away any of the bamboo liners. Even though they're 100% biodegradable, it's not recommended that you dispose of them in the toilet itself. You still have to put it in the bin. Cool, so basically, once you've scraped as much poo as possible, it's time to do something with the nappy uh, or the liner. So essentially, very early on, I used to have a nappy bin in the sense that it was like a longer bucket, which I got from Amazon, filled it up with water, added some um, just washing powder liquid into it, um, just a tiny bit, and basically left the nappies in there, especially if they were soiled, um, so that by the time I got there to wash them in two, three days time, they were really easy to wash afterwards. So that's something I still recommend. If you have the biodegradable liners, I use a biodegradable dog poo bag that I also got in a big batch, like in bulk, uh, on Amazon. Um, it's made out of starch and corn flour, I believe, so it's completely biodegradable, as well as the bamboo liner. So it makes sense for them to go together, and also the poo that biodegrades as well. So that's something to think about. Um, but if not, why don't you have a think about having an outdoor bin that you can basically collect the poo and it doesn't bother you in terms of smell and then you use that one big poo bag and then throw it away once a week, that kind of stuff. Last but not least, and that is washing your nappies. As I said, if you want to put it into a nappy bin then or like a, um, a bucket, then that's perfectly fine. I just now shove them straight into the washing machine knowing that I've got my routine of washing it every two days and it works for me. If they are particular <laughs> if they are particularly soiled, I make sure that there's a pre-wash, so a short cycle um, that washes the nappy with the basically all the dirt and poo and everything for like 30 minutes and then I do a bigger cycle um, after that to make sure that it's fresh water, it's freshly washed and it does affect the stainage in my opinion. But try it out and see what works for you. I also have a baby item cycle that um, is really good for me and if you know that it's very soiled why not have a think about upping up the temperature from like 30 and 40 degrees to 60 degrees once in a while. So that's what I do. If I know that it's particularly dirty or smelly or stained, I make sure that I do it on the high cycle of 60 degrees. Uh, I don't go higher than that because I don't want to ruin my nappies. So that is something that I'd recommend. It's as easy as that guys. I hope it makes more sense and that the step by step really guides you through the process, showing you how simple it is. Once you do it a few times, it's just easy and you don't even think about it twice. So I really hope that it was useful to you and thanks to the viewer who asked me for this particular video. So thank you so much for watching and until next time. Bye!